close to to you know family. Um, yes. So yes, having family support and people whom you trust, um, building that support network is very important. It may not be um you know direct family members, but even having like you know girlfriends on the call where you know you can just talk to them and yes. and just yeah just sound out what's what's on your mind. I think that really helps so much to be able to have someone to talk to. Like my sister, she's in Japan, but we still contact each other very often. Um, and she's a new mom as well, so. Um, you know, we, we just we just talk about everything under the sun. But being able to let things out versus just bottling up within you, um, yes. it doesn't make you stronger. Yeah, it doesn't yes. make you stronger by bottling it up. In fact, it does make you weaker because yes. um, things will fester. So mm. just let it out. Yeah, just let it out. And yeah, and, yeah it, it may not be directly to the person that you that you know is 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 causing you like you know uh, despair because sometimes you know, if, if the person is not ready to talk, um, say your husband, very often mm. it's the husband, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Things can get worse if it's not the right time to talk. So like for me, yeah, I, for me, it was like, you know, I still have to get it out somehow. So I can be writing it down, just write it down first. Lah. And then when it's the right time to talk, just take it out. Lah. Or you know what? Eventually things get solved, just burn it. Lah. <laughs> but yeah. at least you just get it out. Yeah. yeah. Or just talk to it's- somebody who, who, who will not, who will not say anything. <laughs> Is he, is he in the force? That's why he's he in needs the force. to fly. Yeah. So my yeah. husband's in the force as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I know when you say erratic long hours, it's literally, yeah. I mean, it's literally yeah. what they call military wife. <laughs> the, the term has yeah. a, re- there's yeah. a reason for that term, right? Uh, yeah. Really, yeah. basically most of the times left, left to, you know, sort and fight uh, mm-hmm. basically firefight at home um, so I totally yes. and, and about the part where, where you know, not every time is a good time to talk mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I, because I you don't want you don't want to affect the mental it. state also right yes correct you want to yeah. raise it at the right time so then then that's where you need your tribe your your your, your trusted uh, girls or community where, where people who you can lean in on and you know throw things out uh, to mm-hmm. prevent exactly. depression <laughs> Yes, yeah, but, but really just, yeah, but really just that, that self-care thing and, and you finding what works for you so you can access it anytime yourself is also still the best key. But I, I guess what we talked so far is really given, you know, a few examples of how you can actually um, mm. you know, manage, manage your emotions mm. and manage the difficult times, um, mm. not waiting for, for, you know, your husband or whoever um, to come help you. To do it for there you. Really are, right. Exactly. Yes. There really are a lot of things that you can do for yourself. So even with like, you know, the toughest kids, how how long can they stay awake, right? <laughs> At some point, they're just going to knock out. So, so, you know, and eventually they do grow up. So when I say how long can they can they do that, you know, it's, 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 it's not just on a day-to-day basis, but they will not be so little forever. Like yeah. right now, I do miss the times when, when I was breastfeeding, despite me like, you know, crying my eyeballs out and like, you know, bleeding from the nipples. Um, it's, it's tough at that time, but I actually do miss that, that, that um, you know, that stage. Uh, having gone through it four times, I still miss that stage. I still, I still miss the time when they started to talk, when, they, when, they, when I had to hold their hands to, to help them walk. Um, now that they're, they're going out with their friends already, um, treasure every moment no matter how difficult and how challenging it is, um, because it will, it will not come again. Unless you have another one, but yeah, the journey might be different also. Wise words coming from uh, the mother of four. <laughs> You're reminding me, right? Because my third one is still little. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Treasure, <laughs> it, treasure, it. treasure it. Treasure it, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. And then like, you know, just just... Remember it, despite it being so challenging, because, you know, while you're going through it, you're also going to get stronger. I actually started running classes from my home, doing what I enjoy, uh, which is teaching. And the best part is my, my two girls, and I, I, I mentioned before, they're so easy to look after, right? So I cannot say the same for everybody else, but this is how I found something that I, I enjoy. Um, so when my girls sleep, and they were usually nap for about two hours, and it's really like clockwork. I didn't even try to train them. They're just that way. So when they sleep, that's when my clients or my, my students will come over. So that helps me to get that social interaction um, because social media was not the thing, right, at that time. Um, but I managed to get that social interaction and just, you know, being myself away from the, from the kids. And if they wake up, just wake up, lah, come down. Lah. But they, they don't scream, they don't shout, they know mommy's there. 
Um, mm. So that, that's how I managed to get my, my away time with a, a support group. Yeah, right. sort of. They gave me that. They gave me that. Um, community the community support. of women, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then, otherwise, I would actually go out, take myself away from an environment where I feel trapped, where I feel enclosed, and like I'm still at home. This is where I have to clean the house. This is where I have to breastfeed. This is where I have to cook. This is where I have to do the laundry. Take yourself away from that environment. So I became very playful and almost every day I would bring the kids out to explore some place new. And I did that for a few years and I really enjoyed it because um, it, it, it helped my girls explore um, you know, a different country, a different culture so intensely. So we went to like, you know, we even go to, to you know, dams, we would go to... Yeah, just uh, hit outdoors, yeah. right? Yeah, if it's strawberry so season, we'll pick the strawberries. Land there. Yeah. Mm. yeah, if it's blueberry season, we'll pick blueberries. Onions also we pick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. That's yeah, the whole point but, of staying overseas, actually. Mm. Yeah. So find something, exactly, find something fun. It may not always be something that's educational. Uh, how educational can picking onions be, right? But just, <laughs> yeah, but right. just doing something um, away from your, from your environment where you feel um, trapped for moms and in Singapore in a Singaporean context, context um, it can be as simple as just you know go go to the park there are so many parks now go to go to the beach go to Sentosa um, mm. just somewhere away from your current environment and mm. you know even a mall I would say is, is, is enclosed is, is, is air conditioned if you're worried about you know the heat the sun um, but just some place away from from what makes you feel trapped but as a mom you just have to continuously um, adapt there's there's no handbook like I said yeah so you have to just figure things out yourself mm. just figure things out and having that support network is great because if you ask me to ask my mom what can I do to like you know um, manage motherhood now to make it easier she won't know because a lot of things that we do now actually relies on um, technology social media using apps yeah so being resourceful I think that's one of the, the most important skills that I've I've developed um, as a mom, not just in my previous jobs, but really mostly as a mom and multitasking, being able to mm. do a lot of things at, at one time mm. uh, is what parenthood has, has taught me. It is, right? Yes. Yeah.